captain this year, I definitely have more responsibilities. I can't, I can't exactly go out and just focus on my own game. I kind of have to have an awareness of what the teams, how the team's performing as well. So normally I kind of like to lead by example and just do my own thing out there on the ice. But now I have to be accountable for other guys. I have to make sure everyone's accountable at lift, on the ice, in classes. So we're kind of just, um, it's definitely a more mature role for me. And Mike, our our captain does a great job of doing that, handling the administrative tasks. So he kind of allows me to focus more on the hockey aspect, which is good. And so <clears throat> it's been a great learning experience so far, but we're still working. It's still a work in progress, so we're looking to keep it going. Yeah, defensively, we're a pretty sound team this year. Obviously, we have some of the best goalies in the country, so it starts with them. And from then out, from them out, we kind of <clears throat> we changed our game plan up a little bit this year and uh, our D zone is way more aggressive. So we looked at our team speed, our team physicality and our size and we decided that we could use that to our advantage in the D zone. So we went with Coach Nor and kind of implemented a more aggressive attack and it's shown so far. I mean, we're giving up maybe a goal a game if that never really more than three goals. So it's definitely work worked so far, it's still a work in progress, and we're going to continue doing it as long as it works. Yeah, the team chemistry is really strong this year. I mean, we got a tight-knit group. We don't have many guys, so I mean, everyone's close, and when you're on a hockey team, you're pretty much spending the entire day together, so whether it's going to classes together, living together, we travel to the rink, we're on the ice, and then we travel home from the rink, so... I mean, you're pretty much spending your whole day with the team, so you have to get along with the guys. If not, it's going to be a tough experience. So that being said, I mean, <clears throat> if you're ever, there's not one part of the day where you're really not with the hockey guy, whether it's lounging around in between classes or before the practice at the rink, we're always kind of just messing around, trying to have our own fun. And I mean, it's been a great experience this year, and I think that's why it's led to some of our success. In the past, we haven't had as tight knit of a group, so I think our success so far this year is definitely an example of that. Yeah, so um, a couple of my earliest memories are playing hockey. Uh, me and my cousins, we grew up playing pretty much all of our lives. Um, started off, my uncle played hockey at Holy Cross, and he got us in to learn to skate when we were, say, three or four years old, I don't even remember. And from then on, I mean, we were just playing every year. We never really give it up. Hockey's not really a game that you just pick up in high school. You kind of play it your whole life. So he coached us throughout youth leagues into high school. And then now we're all playing college hockey, which is a pretty cool experience. And growing up, we played other sports too. We played lacrosse, baseball, golf. But hockey was that one sport that we actually cared about. So every winter, we were looking forward to that season. The other sports were kind of just to mess around just get out there, be active, but hockey was that one sport that we truly cared about. So that was a cool experience growing up playing with my cousins and we still, we're still in touch today. We're all playing in college, so. On the ice, I'd say one of my biggest strengths is my physicality. I kind of try and um, take away time and space from the players in this league. There are some very good players and they like to have the puck and they can make some good plays. So my job is to kind of take that time and space away from them and by doing that, I can use my size, be physical with them, and also once in a while try and throw a big hit, try and get the boys going if uh, we don't have momentum in our favor, just kind of try and shift it in our direction. So I try and use my size to my advantage in that case. And off the ice, I'd say one of my biggest strengths is probably my work ethic. Um, like I was saying earlier, I like to lead by example, so I kind of try and be one of the first guys in the weight room, the last guy out, try and get to practice early, stay on the ice, get some extra reps in. And I know that if I want to play a lot of minutes this year and I want to play efficient minutes, that I have to be in the best shape I can be in. So if that means getting extra workouts in or extra recovery time, I got to focus on that, get in the gym more. And um, that's kind of what I've been trying to do this year as a senior, my last year. So I'm trying to make the most out of it. I haven't really narrowed it down yet. I'm kind of trying to focus on school and hockey right now. I mean, it's my senior year. I'm just trying to enjoy it. It's been an unbelievable four years so far, so I just told myself that I'm going to focus on school and hockey, and we're going to see what happens from there. I know something will work out, and uh, hopefully it's for the best.